Uh, I never thought I'd see a day where, where I'm talking with Coldplay. World champion Guy Berryman, thanks so much for joining me today. How are you guys? We're doing very well, thank you. Yeah, doing great. It's nice to talk to you. It's, it's really good to have you again. Uh, thanks for this surprise, actually, to have your time with me. Now, first of all, I'm just going to go to your latest gig. Uh, every Coldplay fan wishes they were in New York, of course. <laughs> You're a, putting up a free concert. It's the talk of the globe. Now, tell us about this and what that concert means to you. Well, it was very unusual for us because we've done a few kind of virtual concerts over the last few months where we're playing in an empty room or or, or an empty field <laughs> with no with no people watching. So yeah, it really felt like the first time we were kind of back in front of people and people were singing. It wasn't you know it wasn't a huge amount of people. It was kind of um, I don't know a few hundred I guess. No, or I think something. it was. Well, I think it started out as five hundred. The idea was it's supposed to be. Uh, 500 ticketed people were there, uh -huh. uh, full, everyone fully vaccinated, and it was for a, uh, to, uh, it was to celebrate the American Fourth of July. It was pre-taped, so they will air it on the Fourth of July. But then I think so only 500 people were supposed to be there. But then because it was in a public park, people started to to <laughs> hear about it and come down. And by the end of it, there was about 8,000 people. There. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you, you'd wonder why, because you're Coldplay, right? Well, <laughs> no I mean, you, can't, you can't assume anything these days. You know, you can't yeah. assume that people know who you are. There's millions of songs have come and gone since we last released a record. So it's, it's you know, you can't assume that people still remember. People have short memories yeah. in this day and age. But no, well, we were, they, it was brilliant. It was wonderful. They, to they would never play forget Coldplay. Uh, especially if it's just in a span of a year. I, I'm sure about well. that. Now, a, a lot of musicians uh, try to give more meaning to their music, right? Uh, in the midst of the pandemic, get more positive, supportive, and so on. Now, how has this pandemic affected Coldplay's music? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think, you know, we'd started a lot of, you know, you know, working on a lot of music before the pandemic began. And so a lot of what we've been working on during the pandemic kind of stemmed from an earlier period of time. Um, mm. But I think in terms of, you know, releasing Higher Power as the first single, um, it really felt like, you know, the, you know, the right thing to do because it, 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 it's positive and it's got a good energy. And I think yeah. we felt that that's kind of what the world, you know. I was dancing into it, you know, it just the music, just your, your music just does that. So, oh, yeah, I, I'd great. agree. Good music for the pandemic. Uh, and yeah, since you've touched upon Higher Power, very interesting title, very likable music, I'll have to say. What was the idea behind that? I mean, I just I just found out that that was written before the pandemic, so it wasn't for the pandemic, but apparently it was appropriate for it. Yeah, I, th I think it definitely um, has taken on, it resonates perhaps a bit more now that we've all been through this strange year that we've been through. I think... Uh, Initially, most songs start either with a with a, a piece of either a, a rhythmic idea or a melodic idea or sometimes a lyric. Sometimes they mm -hmm. all come together at once. But I think um, this song, it became, I think most when, when we start recording, it, it becomes clear that there are a handful of songs that become important parts of the puzzle. Yeah. And this was the first one that came along where we felt like, okay, this is something that we can base things around. And it, it, it was the sort of key into the world that we were trying to, to make. Um, and it's just really, like I said, it's a, it's a song that is about positivity or finding whatever it is within yourself, whatever it is that makes you tick, whatever it is that makes you uh, feel great about yourself and, and be a great person to others. So... I think it's different for every person, whatever your whatever your higher power is, whatever the thing that you search for when you're when you're looking for answers. I think that's uh, that's what it's about. I mean, looking at the title and listening to it, I would think that you Coldplay made it for, you know, to support people during the pandemic, looking for, as you said, their higher power. But it's just amazing how they just kind of fit in, you know, uh, especially in our situation now. Uh, how do you manage to seek inspiration for music uh during this what i could uh, what i could call our generation's most most boring slash frustrating year mm. um well i think well first of all i think we're you know all of us you know individually are are you know just so passionate about music and we're always mm. listening and consuming lots of music and searching for new things and 
Um, I, I, and we're always, you know, we're always pushing on new ideas. Um, and, and so pandemic or no pandemic, I think that's something which just, that's just what we do, you know, anyway. Um, so you, can, you, you just know, can't do it any other way, right? You just go for your passion. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're, that. you know, yeah. we, we live, we, you know, we live to be in this band and we're always, you know, we, we're always coming up with, you know, hundreds of ideas, which always end up kind of getting short, you know, lesser and lesser. And they kind of, you know, they might end up, a few of them might end up turning into songs, you know? Um, mm. So, you know, I just don't think we've ever stopped, um, you know, that kind of creative process. It's a great spirit. I think we, sh we all should have that. Uh, Coldplay, I could easily say Coldplay is among the top musicians in the world. It's not really a, comp uh, a competition, you might say, but then again, I'd, I would put you guys there. Uh, so basically, I'm saying is that you get to be your own worst competition. Now, how do you beat yourself <laughs> over and over again? Uh, well, I think we just try and we don't try and think about numbers necessarily. I think we try and think about how can we connect with people in a way that is going to resonate and is going to be relevant to uh, to whatever's happening. Um, mm. So it's it's. I think the first thing we do is is try to recognize that any new collection of songs, whether it's an album or just a single or an EP or whatever, it has to represent something different to something than than what we've done before. Even if it's not massively different, but it has to be a progression in some way. So whether it's that we work with a new producer we're lucky we've been so lucky to work with max martin on this mm. on, on this project and that for us has been extremely exciting um because it, it's takes a while for us to trust other people's opinions and and when we've been working as a small group for so long uh to invite someone into that circle is is a quite a big deal for us mm. and, but he's just such a wonderful talent and such a safe there's someone whose opinion we trust implicitly. And so we look to try and collaborate with people that we love. We look to try and uh, explore musical styles that we haven't done so much, or we just try to, to, to push ourselves. So yeah, in the hope that it will, that some, you know, that it will, it will lead us to, 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 to move forward. And I'll have to say, we love you for doing that. Now, I, I gather some questions from our followers here on Compass TV. I just have to ask them. So this yeah, is from Cindy Sistiarani and also Fafifar7693. She's going to go crazy after I read this to you. Uh, <laughs> when are you coming to Indonesia? Don't you miss us? Oh, we do. We absolutely miss you. And we and we love to come back as soon as possible. Um, you know, you know, we, we, we're a band who needs to go on tour and we're desperate to, you know, come out and see our fans everywhere, actually. Um, but of course, the challenge that we face at the moment is just how do we do yeah. it? What are the rules? Where can we go? Where can't we go? Um, but, you know, you've got to, you know, believe me when I say we are trying our best <laughs> to figure it all out. <laughs> well, you just need to know that we miss you too. Second question from Penny1109. What is your inspiration when you write such, such deep lyrics? I really like Fix You. Ah. <laughs> well, I think different songs, it's, it's different for every song. I think that particular song is about trying to help someone who's going through a very difficult period, about uh, someone who's grieving for someone they've lost. And so inspiration for songs can come from from all over the place, I think, from being trying to empathize with someone to trying to share your feelings about something, to try to make someone happy or trying to impress someone that you want to, you know, that, that, that you're falling in love with, or it can, it can be anything. Um, and I think we as musicians, and I know Chris would say this as, as a songwriter, just being open to all kinds of experiences and let, opening your mm -hmm. heart and your mind to every kind of opportunity and, and taking that, whenever that inspiration comes, grabbing it with both hands and, and not letting it go until you've turned it into a great song. All right, Guy, Will, I only have uh, time for one last question. It's not, okay. even, it's not even really a question. <laughs> uh, complete this sentence, Guy well, goes first. When you try your best, but you don't succeed, guy. Um, gosh, <laughs> try, tr try again. <laughs> try again. Okay, Will, what's your answer? Uh, well, I'm gonna revo revoke to just revoke 
just normal kind of straight down the line when you get what you want but not what you need that's what i would say okay okay so that's a, that's a, there's already an answer there yeah will <laughs> champion guy Berman, thanks so much for talking with me today you guys have a great time we'll see you here in indonesia once this pandemic is over will do thank you so much thanks tim thank you see you guys see you take care